it's me again, back at it. Playing the Giants this week, uh, that was a bad loss last game. It's pretty frustrating, honestly. We'll do a quick little synopsis coming into week 10 here. So through nine games uh, with the bye week, we're five and three. Point differential is 29, so most of these games have been pretty close. You can see they're all on extreme. Uh, two minute quarters had a big blowout against Washington. Other than that, we've all been within a score, except for the last game, which kind of got away from us. But morale is not great, fans, not great. I think I'm at a point where I'm going to turn the training down just because our players are developing, but I think it's having an effect on the morale. You know, it's like we can't afford to have shitty morale, which is then going to cause everyone to fumble it, which is one of our biggest issues. So. You know, I'm going to turn that down. The XP is nice, but honestly, the team is pretty good to where we shouldn't have to worry about that. And what is causing these? So 100% happiness is causing the tackling to upgrade. I guess we do have a few players that are happy. The defense is happy. The offense is pissed. Um, Hurd's been injured, so I don't really know what he has to be pissed about. I mean, the, ba the backup, uh, he played okay. We'll look at his stats here. Uh, 13 for 28, so that's not good at all. I didn't realize I threw the ball that much. Two touchdowns and an interception for about 200 yards. I don't really know what he's what he's got to be upset about. He got a chance and he fucking choked it. So anyway, we got our good players back. Alave, just great. He's, he hasn't been, he hasn't played great per se. I mean, only six interceptions through seven games, but 15 touchdowns. A couple more on the ground as well. Yeah, 76 completion percentage. So he's he's playing well enough. And honestly, couldn't do it without Diamond. Even against a great team in Philly. Even with a backup quarterback. 9 for 106 and a touchdown. So far on the year. 9 touchdowns. Over 800 yards. He's been nice. And Hurd's been injured. But, you know, he's been okay. 4 touchdowns. Coney coming back off that injury for a few weeks. He's got 2 sacks. Alfred's got a sack and a force fumble. And Goldman's got 2 picks through eight games nevertheless we will hop into this one against the g-men we will do the first color rush of of the series here five and three houston taking on the four and four giants giants got it driving down midfield it's a running play coney's too slow and they score the touchdown but miss the extra point and houston is on offense as mullen's going to catch this pass out of the backfield for a gain of five happy to have olave back Going over the middle. Diamond with the great catch and the stiff arm. Showing a little bit of strength. He can do both. It's not as common, but he can. He can do that. And I'm going deep again. Wow, wide open. Where is everybody? I smell burnt toast. Diamond takes it into the red zone. That's a huge gain. And we are going to look Freddie Hurd's way. I think he's going to beat that coverage. He does. And he caught the ball. Beautiful job. Look at Najee Olave. Standing in the pocket, three guys coming. Uh, um, I don't know about that. He, he made the great throw, though. It's football. Don't forget that. And the Giants are driving down the field. They're going to punch the ball in, go for two. It is a seven-point ball game. I'm going over the middle. Uh, thrown into a big old pile of people. Third and long here in the enemy territory. I'm going to drop that ball right over the top. Didn't even mean to throw it to Quincy Mullins, but we're going to convert anyway and move those chains. As we're going to actually run the ball here. And get a stiff arm from Quincy Mullins. A, a weary tackle attempt by the defenders. And we are going to continue to move the ball here. As Diamond's beating his man. Similar to uh, other NFL players. Usually uh, beating their... Eh, well, no. We don't need to say that. Going to do a little little hitch route here. Just gain some yards. Move the ball. Get heard some confidence. As Diamond, one-on-one, -on -one, I'm taking that every time. He's going to make a big old catch. And bring us into the... Uh, into the 10 zone as we are knocking running up the gut with Quincy Mullins gets laid out into the uh to the four yard line knock, 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 on gonna walk right in with Olave they can't handle the sauce they need to account for him on every single drive the Giants don't come up with anything on the uh last ditch effort and I threw a pick that was just a bad throw. I should have put the ball further in front of the receiver. I threw it behind him. And hopefully the Giants don't do anything with it. And they actually do. They punch the ball in. Uh, and they must have missed the extra point because they are winning by six now. It's nice to have Olave back. And everyone's getting bumped over the middle. Freddie Hurd with a great catch, honestly. Good yards after completion. Takes it down to the 50. And I'm kicking out to the running back. Making moves. Another gain of 10. Second and 10. I'm looking deep. 
Oh my god, I didn't realize how much arm strength my guy had, and I just pulled it back a little too far. Third and ten. Going over the middle. Just dive for it. We need that. Uh, we gotta keep this drive moving. The Giants are relentless on offense. And John Smith, streaking, caught it, diving. Who would have thought he'd be the one to make an impact? As Freddie Hurd is going to burn his matchup and drop the ball. Wow. Why? Quincy Moore taking it to the outside, finding the edge, touchdown. And this extra point, assuming it's made, can, yep, there we go, can put us up by one. End of the third quarter here as the Giants are forced to make a field goal with zero seconds on the clock, and they miss it. So no harm, no foul by, by our uh, defense as we're going over the middle to Freddie Hurd. Third line news. Up by a point here. I've seen this one before. Um, a lot of open receivers. I'm just going to throw it to the, uh, to the receiver that's fast as Freddie Hurd's going to take us down to the 31-yard line. Uh, I'm getting sacked. Uh, yep. That's, that's fine. All right, third and long here. They're not covering the tight end. They're not covering anyone. And he can't hold on to the ball. I don't know if I can make this field goal, and I don't know if it makes a difference. I don't like any of those routes either, though. If I click go for it, Freddie Hurd could beat this coverage. I think I believe in it. Uh, do I do an audible? I don't want to risk an audible. If I if I do an audible and they give me a shitty route, I'm screwed. So I'm hoping Freddie Hurd burns him. Oh, that's fine. Hey, I punted the ball. Probably honestly should have looked at EJ Diamond slanting across the middle of the field. And we're both just going to watch as hopefully my defense can make a stop. Midfield. Pass. Giants. Quarterback handoff. Touchdown. Two points, and they score. 20 seconds left. Um, can I get any deep routes? I have 20 seconds, two timeouts. Okay, timeout right away. We need to get a nice uh, route on the outside and then get out of bounds. Can I Can I make that pass? Fit it in there beautifully. Go herd, go herd, please, please, please. Four seconds. I got one shot. I got one shot. Hopefully, I'm trying to, hopefully. I think I got it. Please. Oh my god. Last play. Thank god. So I go for two. That's, I know that you're like, why wouldn't you just go in overtime? I I don't have any audibles and I don't like any of those routes. Okay, everybody, shut up. I have to fucking make this field goal, please. Please, please. Oh, okay, thank god. Alright, overtime. Uh, tails. Damn it. It was heads. Giants, please don't do it. Don't do it. <gasps> Field goal. We have to score a touchdown. I'm not playing for a tie. We've got one timeout and a minute left. Get outside. Diamond, beautiful job. Just just duck out of bounds. We have to conserve the clock. A minute is not a lot of time. Don't like any of that. I don't like... Oh my god, I cannot afford a sack right there. Third and long... I think we beat him over the top. Please don't drop that ball. Thank you, Hurt. Go, go, go. Please go. No, get away from me. Get away from me. All right, I'm calling my last time out. We have 28 seconds to hopefully punch this ball into the end zone. I am not playing for a tie. I would rather lose. And Diamond, I think, is going to get him beat. If I can just make that pass. Oh, he stretched. He couldn't get it. No. I don't like Hurt. I don't like Hurt being the one to catch this ball. I'm calling an audible. John Smith gonna be streaking over the middle herd still still makes the catch okay 10 seconds left get up to the line this has to be in the end zone if they get tackled short i'm gonna be devastated i think i got this can i get that oh my god ej diamond five touchdowns five touchdowns in one game that is so great thank god he made that catch my quarterback got laid out and we go into overtime and we finally come out with a close win. I feel like we lose every close game. Honestly, that was our best offensive performance by a, like, by a wide margin. 34 to 31, uh, beat the Giants in overtime. And uh, yeah, Freddie Hurd had a great game. I think they all had a great game. But we're going to, you know, give him props when when needed as uh, five, th 351 and five touchdowns, two interceptions. For the offense, Hurd and Diamond. I guess Hurd did have a great game. 171 yards. A tackle as well. I don't know what the fuck that's about. And we had a huge sack from Coney as well. Came up clutch when we needed him to. 
as Hurd is going to be completely maxed out now, and Jason Alford going to upgrade his strength. That was that was a nail biter. That was a close one. I'm glad we came away with the win on that. We really needed it uh, for morale, for my sake and everyone else's. So we are six and three. Indy's still not winning a game. Uh, they're the only team that hasn't won, except for the Bears. Bears haven't won yet either. Uh, we're going to be taking on Pittsburgh in the next one. I'm going to spend some of this credit on upgrading one of everything. Just get the morale up, get everything going, conditioning. You know, what else are the points for? Back down to zero. It's going to be a slow grind trying to get everyone, you know, better than they were before. So three, three and a half star offense, three star defense. It's fine. You know, everyone's a rookie. Everyone's developing. But uh, yeah, really happy to come out of there with a win. I'll see you for the next one, I guess, when we take on Pittsburgh in week 11. So bye-bye. See ya. See you guys. Say bye. Bye.